Hey, what's up guys? If you guys haven't watched my unboxing of this fragrance on my Instagram channel, please make sure you go over there, watch the unboxing of it, come back here, watch the full review. And for those of you that are back here from Instagram, welcome back. But today, today is a special day. I'm gonna be reviewing a uh, legend in the frag community. This is a fragrance that's been super hyped. This is something that's discontinued, that's really tough to get. And now I finally have my hands on it. Hey, what's up, LSF fam? Welcome to Lee Style and Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright, guys. I'm alright. Don't worry about it. I talk about men's style, fragrance, grooming, some vlogs here and there. And I throw a dash of confidence at you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification too. Let's hang out. Come on. Now this is by Van Cleef and Apals. And the name of this fragrance is Midnight in Paris. And this is Audi Toilet Concentration. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie guys, I am super excited. I'm super pumped for this because I finally got to put my nose on it and I finally own this. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. I love the accents around it, the kind of metal accents around the bottle. Um, solid bottle too, it has some density to it. Nice cap, nice sprayer. Great presentation. Now, unfortunately, the guy I bought it from no longer had the box anymore, so I just have the bottle, but it's all good. I'll try to see if I can find the box somewhere just to have in my collection. So this fragrance actually came out in 2010. Let's go into the notes real quick. So you have bergamot, rosemary, lemon, leather, lily of the valley, verbera may tea, Amber, tonka bean, and frankincense. So this has a bunch of very, very interesting notes in it. And I'm not going to lie, before I put my nose in it and I smelled, I seen all the notes in it, I was wondering how they were going to pull this off because there's some notes in here that I thought might not work together. But man, this is great perfumery. This, there was a great job putting all this together and getting it to smell the way it smells. Now, let me talk a little bit about how it smells. I can tell you right now, I see why there's a lot of hype on this fragrance because this fragrance smells really, really good. It's classy, it's timeless. The opening, I can't get enough of the opening. There's like, it's like leathery. You get some of that spicy rosemary in there and I also get some citrus. It smells so sexy, it's just really luxurious. That's the best way I can describe it. Then it dries down to this sweet, kind of powdery, warm, almost candy-like, but masculine candy, if that even makes sense. But this is just a really seductive, sweet, powdery fragrance, and I love how it develops on you. I, I definitely see where the hype is coming from. And the reason why I called it timeless is I feel like a fragrance like this I don't feel like there's a timeline for it. Like I feel like this will always smell good no matter what time you wear it in. In my opinion, I feel like the way this fragrance smells, I feel like it'll appeal more to the younger guys. I do see it appealing to older guys too. I also see this appealing to women even though this is marketed as a men's fragrance. I'll definitely say this is better for the evening and the nights out. I say winter and fall is the best time to wear this, but I feel like on the cooler spring nights, you can also pull this off. As far as compliments, this is a nine. I wore it about three times. I received a ton of compliments. So if you're somebody that loves compliments, this is definitely the fragrance for you. As far as performance, now this is the toilet version. So of course, it's not supposed to last so long, but some toilets doesn't matter. But on this one, I get about six plus hours of performance. Projection is about an eight. This actually projects pretty well. You walk in the room, people smell it. When you walk away, it lingers for a little bit. Overall, rating from a one to 10, one being the least, 10 being the best. I give this fragrance a nine. I really think it's that good. Let's talk price point. So price point is anywhere from $75 to 200 plus. Now, this is depending on the person you're getting it from because this is discontinued, so not that easy to get. The places to look for, if you follow any groups on Facebook, like swap groups or Instagram, those are the best places to 
find a fragrance like this. A lot of reviewers also do clean outs where they just get rid of a lot of stuff that they have. So a lot of times just look at their inventory, see how much they're willing to sell it to you for. Samples, that's the best way to try this fragrance out and see it's even worth buying a big bottle because for some people it might not be. Now, do I think it's worth the big price tag? Absolutely. When we're talking about the rarity of this fragrance, how hard it is to get, how good it is, how versatile it is, I think you can justify that price point. It's all about what you're willing to pay. But I feel like for people like myself, being a collector, like I feel like collectors will pay that price point for it, especially if they like the fragrance or they just want to brag and say that they have one of them. Don't forget the smell stylish. Don't forget to follow me if you guys aren't following me already. Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Short, dark, and handsome game. LSF fam. Love you guys. See you next time. Peace.